How's it going, fam? Welcome back to Erica's EDC, and today we're doing a pocket dump. It is a beautiful day here in New Hampshire. I'm not carrying a whole bunch of stuff, but we're just gonna show you what's in the pockets because I haven't done one of these in a hot second. So, chapstick, no one cares. Pocket, oops, <laughs> pocket crucifix. Uh, I don't think this guy makes them anymore, which is really unfortunate because I really actually like that. Minimalist wallet. The Failsafe Goods Sidewinder. I've had this for two years now. It has been my everyday wallet other than that um, little, you know, period of time where I tested a different wallet from him for like a month. But uh, this has been the all day, every day for two years. Look at the teeners. Look at the teeners on that thing. This is in Crazy Horse Leather. Absolutely beautiful. Um, this is my favorite wallet of all time. Like, look at all the scars on that leather. That's incredible. I just think this is such a beautiful piece. Favorite wallet of all time. Very minimalistic. It's got a little slot here in the middle. Slot there. Slot there. Super simple. Um, Ryan also made me this slip here for my Northern Knifeworks dart, which is housed inside. This is just a little pocket slip. You've got a clip that uh, clips onto the outside of your pants, but this whole slip rides inside of your pants. This is really broken in. This is getting some beautiful teeners too. Very cool. It's got a little E stamp on it. This is the E series. It just has a, an orange accent thread, but this will hold a number of different knives and tools. This holds the dart, the harpoon dart. I know it holds knives from other makers. It's just a really nice little pocket slip for fixed blades or pry bars or other tools. It's really universal. It's not shaped to any particular item. Kind of a coffin shape there. So this is my go-to slip for the dart. And then, of course, we have the dart. The Northern Knifeworks K390 Dart tested and reviewed this on the channel. This is a design that Levi and I came up with, and this is one of my favorite knives. Absolutely insane. Still haven't needed to sharpen it. I've done some pretty messed up stuff with this, and it just keeps going, but that's one of the great things about K390. It's a, it's, um, a very hassle-free, minimalistic steel in terms of needing to touch it up needing to sharpen it um very minimal intervention with this steel it just has incredible edge retention this is like 66.5 hrc beautiful we are working on a massive drop of these guys um we are getting i think 100 blanks cut of k390 darts and stingers the next drop will have the drop point no jimping at all just a simple drop point it's going to be really cool those are in the works right now but um this is just one of the best knives i've ever used and i'm not saying that because it's my design it genuinely is just such a a wicked little knife great for hunting great for food prep edc tasks blows through cardboard like you wouldn't believe only 10 thou bte crazy thin super steel just this thing is incredible um love it and i and i really do enjoy carrying it in this fail safe goods slip here super easy to access it when it's in your pocket just an awesome setup and then my traditional knife because you guys know i love those um i do have a gec what is this i want to say it's a muskrat because i think that's the the style but i'm not sure if this one is actually called a muskrat um somebody let me know because i know i have a whole bunch of gec fanatics that watch the channel so whatever this thing is it's a yellow rose something northfield unexcelled something i don't know but it's got two of the, two of the same exact blade um i use one for food prep and one for other tasks but Love this. This was a gift from my friend Cole. Beautiful, beautiful blade. 
and she's got the teeners. All natural, baby. She got the teener town. So this blade is for my food. Very nice. And then I have a utility blade, so I'll use this this one back here for like the dog food and um, utility tasks. So it's got, it does have teeners, but they're not really showing because of the lighting. So that's riding in this hitch and timber belt slip. I think this is called the proper belt slip, I believe. I wicked like this. Just goes right on your belt, but can carry any type of like kind of smaller, thinner, um, traditional knife, Swiss army knife. I've put a number of different knives in this. You can tell it's kind of shaped to my, uh, to uh, a different, a different blade. Um, there's a dude, an old dude running. Look at him. Ns, 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 ns. He's fucking elderly as shit. And he just, he just goes. He just, he's always here fucking running around. Anyway, there's that. Riding in this hitch and timber belt slip, belt sheath. And then lastly, we just have flashlight. Titan Surefire flashlight here. Little tiny pocket light. Um, like I said, it's, you know, wicked nice here in New Hampshire. It's like 65, hot. Um, so I'm wearing my Levi's, but I'm trying not to weigh them down too much. But um, there there it is. That, that, guy, that, that guy is running right by me. He's looking at me like, why are you talking to yourself in your car? Because I'm talking to my peeps. Yeah, so little tiny flashlight. I think it's only got like one setting. Wicked small, um, lightweight, but yeah, you know, I, I walk dogs all day at work, so I'm not trying to carry a whole bunch of stuff when I'm active and it's hot out, but that's, that's everything I have today. Um, let me know down in the comments what you guys have on you. Uh, let me know what you've been interested in lately, what you're carrying. I'm, I'm, I just can't stop using this thing, man. Like I, I already did the review and tested it and everything, but like I, I just can't get it out of my pocket. Like every time I try to put something else in, it's like I just kind of want to carry the the dart. And we do have another design in the works as well, which I've kind of hinted at. It will be called the Mink, and it's a a much more full bodied EDC knife. Um, much, you know, thicker handle uh, at a drop point blade, but much wider in this direction. Super slicey still, but just a little more of like a a fulfilling knife. You know, the dart is meant to be a super concealable little pokey thing. But the mink is just... You guys are going to die when you see this thing. Um, I'm so excited about it. I'm trying to think of something that it's kind of comparable to. It it almost looks like a, like a fixed blade... Benchmade bug out kind of like really minimalistic, but but filling in the hand drop point blade like fat slicey blade just I'm so excited to to get that. Um, I should have that. I think it's going to be done at the end of next week. So maybe the week after it'll be here and I'll be showing it and testing it really hard crew wear. Uh, Levi is making those as well. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you what's in the pocket today and just, you know, chat with you. Also, real quick, um, some channels that I just want to shout out. Richter Knives, of course, go follow him. Motown EDC, go follow him. And Doggone John. Um, if you like kind of the format of my videos where it, it kind of just feels like we're like chilling in the truck together and chatting or, you know, hanging out, um in the backyard and just kind of like talking knives, talking gear. If you like that kind of vibe, go subscribe to their channels. Um, they have kind of the same vibe as me. Uh, just not like flashy, buy this, buy that. It's kind of just like chilling like we would with our friends and just be like, you know, showing cool gear and keeping you updated on what we're using. Um, their channels are really cool. Like, I love the vibe that they all carry. It literally feels like you've known these people your whole life and you're just kind of like hanging out with them in the backyard on a nice night. Um, so if you if you like the vibe of this, please check out their channels as well. I really love their content. They all make great content on traditional knives as well. 
Um, Richter's got a whole bunch of GECs and case knives. Uh, Dog on John, again, like, he's got some cool GECs. Teener Town, for sure. Um, Motown does a little bit of both, like, kind of some modern, some fixed blades, some traditionals. So, I just wanted to give them a shout out because they, they have such cool channels. And one of my favorite things in the summer is, like, when I get home from work on the days where I work day shift like coming home hanging out with the dogs in the yard like cracking open a beer and just kind of like listening to youtube videos and playing around with knives and stuff and their channels are just the ones that i love to to watch and to listen to so i just wanted to give them a shout out but that's all i've got for you guys today i hope that you enjoyed go use your shit learn how to sharpen your knives i will see you guys on the next video I love you so much, fam. Take care. I'll take care of your mom, don't worry.